Gani Kayode Balogun. Journalist Hangout starts now. In recent weeks, state governments continue with the distribution of palliatives to cushion the impact of the fuel subsidy removal, and Emo State hasn't been left out. Senator Ifain Uba has also joined the growing number of federal lawmakers using their position to benefit of their people. And we have details in this report. Amid calls for palliatives and social intervention, some state government and federal lawmakers have risen to the challenge. One of them is Senator Ifain Uba. <laughs> Some describe these as massive empowerment project, which, according to the senator, it is a demonstration of life-changing employment program. Delivering his speech, Governor of Imo State explains that these benefits will follow the strong economic policy introduced by the federal government. He appeals that Nigeria should extend support to vulnerable groups around them. Mr. President, also has encouraged. To see the problems of members of their constituencies as their problem, he has also encouraged them to go back to their different constituencies to see how they can cushion the effect of this policy. The national chairman of APC, Abdullah Gandiji, commended the senator for his people's oriented empowerment programs. And not everybody is the one that you come in here. It's the one that you come and see a large crowd of people. But this rally is a mega rally. Yes. And it's a rally of empowerment. For the federal lawmaker who promised to ensure his desire to leave many out of poverty is achieved. <laughs> In fact, the what drove him into politics was even this desire to have the platform to touch as many people as possible, you understand, and to put smiles on the faces of people, you know, by helping our people. Members of the APC National Working Committee challenged public office holders to take a cue from Senator Ifan Yuba's empowerment gesture. Every time everybody is shouting about Bolatinu, 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 the president is not going to be the only one that can solve this problem. The governors across the 316, the 109 senators, like if you buy is doing, must rise to the occasion and continually do more at this season to be able to alleviate the impact of what is going on right now, the policies that are being introduced to ensure that Nigeria is on the path of economic strength. And so I call on each and every leader, not just the senators, House of Representatives, um, uh, councillors, uh, local government chairmen, uh, um, governors, and every leader in the society to emulate what Senator Iba Uba has done. Over 30,000 Anambra people are expected to benefit from the empowerment program. Many are to go out with motorized bicycle, tricycle, shuttle buses, sewing machines, hairdressing machines, food items, and many more. Bamidele Ajayi, Timisi News Newi. Well, that incident, that story happened in Anambra, not Imo, as earlier reported. Well, BK, well, let's have your perspective on this distribution of palliative, as we've seen from state governors, now lawmakers. What do you make of this development? This is what we've always wanted. Mm. And I remember after we began to complain, that the big time politicians were not showing empathy. We saw Senator uh, Wengadane do something in his uh, constituency of uh, uh, Ogun State, the Jebu area, where he comes from. Everyone that is in position to do this needs to jump in to assist our people. Right. And the people will appreciate it. 
our people need support. That is what we are saying. We are not saying this should be the, the norm. permanent economic module. Mm. No, no one is saying that. Mm. Because I had an individual say you cannot uh, revamp an economy with palliatives. Who said they should revamp the economy with palliatives? We are saying that at a time like this, help our people. Lend a hand. All the religions acknowledge that we cannot all be rich. Yeah. Fingers, are Fingers are not equal. Mm -hmm. God recognizes the fact that there, are poor, people there among will be us. poor people amongst us, whether we like it or not. Right. So, but we need to help those people. That is the point we are making. Look at what Senator Fian Yuba has done. This is massive. This is a, a real a game changing initiative. And everyone will point at what uh, Senator Fian Yuba has done as the standard mm. because it's not the only one in that senate there are 109 of them mm -hmm. if others can do something like this it will go a long way who has done something like this this big attracting this kind of crowd attracting this kind of big personalities within the party so he has set a standard this is, and this is a man who is not known to have lost an election mm is a perennial politician to watch. Mm. There's no way that the people will abandon you when you need them. If you are known as someone who always shows up to help people. And that's what uh, Secretary Fian Yubas advertised himself to, to be. I like the fact that the day before this grand empowerment, he had to organize a colloquium meant to bring the southeast to the epicenter of nigerian politics you know and um, the whole idea is for the southeast to take its rightful place in the epicenter of politics in our country that's what senator if you are is pushing hard for and you can see the extent that Which he has gone. gone and and i know that god who rewards people who remember the poor in, in our midst, we also remember him. I'm, I'm charging others. You've seen what your colleague has done. Try your best. If you cannot um, best him, mm. try to at least move close to what he has done. We will appreciate it all the same. <laughs> Indeed, GKB, you know, from what Babajide has said, this is what we've been canvassing on yeah. the show and as much as what we've been seeing so far from other state governors. What I'm particularly concerned about is this not being used as a political tool, perhaps and maybe if at all getting to the right persons. How do you think that can be shadowed? How, can it, how do you think this kind of uh, palliative can get to the right people who need it and not being used as a political tool by most of these politicians? Well, that's why I'm very happy that senators are now taking the bulls by the horn, basically. Because we've shouted there many times that some governors are not doing well. We know what they are doing in Bono. We know what they are doing in some states. We know what they are doing in Lagos. Mm -hmm. With the NJ, NJ mm -hmm. so which I was even part of yesterday, because I have to go to one in my area just to cover what I do there. And some of the representatives came in. So now the House of the Senate and members of the House of Representatives, like this guy in uh, I don't water, Tunja Kiosi, who also did similar thing for people in that area. Mm. And then because we, we have to admit that some governments have been missing in action. So nature abhors a vacuum. And they've been very lucky in open states that they have senators like Yai mm. who are willing to block that particular element to go. Because it's only palliative that they wanted in some areas. Mm -hmm. Some areas, the roads, is palliative. Right. The roads are so bad that to even come out of your villages to get this, it's very difficult. or to get it back, it's going to be extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. Because once you leave my neighborhood in, uh, in Amadia, it's going to be war to get water. <laughs> you spend something that should take 15 minutes, will take about two hours. And people die on that road every day because people now convert the other road to face to face. Mm. Just as if somebody died. And it's basically like that all the way 
to 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 attack mm. down down on the way to Abekuta. So I want to commend uh, Senator Uba. I want to commend other senators as well. It is not only because they need to, it's because they have to. And to go back to your question, there is no better politics than talking to a man on full stomach. The reverse, the reverse have a say <laughs> that in a big park, Obawasu, right. there is no way an ugly man will listen to your sermon. But if you're a politician and you really want people to remember what you are doing for them, this is what you need to do. And do it now. Like you said, it's not going to be forever. Right. But while we are hoping from the <coughs> fallout or the decisions taken by this administration to solve our economic problems down the line, politics like this are necessary to make sure that the base elements in our society do not suffer unduly mm. due to lack of finance to buy this stuff. Right. Well, let's quickly move on to our next issue of discussion, where the rescue of the abducted Kurigan.